In response to growing maritime security needs in our post-9-11 world, Florida's Regional Domestic Security Task Force Initiative formed the state's waterborne response teams. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, the state's primary maritime law enforcement entity, coordinates with partners from sheriff's offices and city police departments to ensure that all of the 41 teams across Florida have standardized training, equipment, and capabilities. The result is a cohesive mix of professional maritime law enforcement operators that is setting the standard for the entire United States. Pursuit, screen patrols of high-value assets, intercept of suspicious vessels, and moving escorts of important ships are commonplace. Other teams perform maritime tactical response missions and specialty team delivery. These are just some of the varied missions that Florida's waterborne response teams prepare for. In moving escorts, the goal is to provide a barrier between an important moving asset and any potential threat. Highly capable boat operators are a necessity and Florida's WRT training pushes the limit to bring officers to a high level of competency. Protecting a shoreside high-value asset is a function that allows officers to determine threat. Sorting the bad guy from the normal stray boater allows protective personnel to prepare for and meet the threat head on. Whether it's a specially equipped sheriff's marine unit, police department, or the highly trained special operations group from Florida Fish and Wildlife, the state can field maritime security units to fill a variety of needs on Florida waterways. Partnership is the name of the game in WRT operations.